At just 22 years old, this is the youngest person ever to be elected to the Bavarian State Assembly, but he was unable to attend the opening session because he was at the time in police custody. He's since been released, but is still under investigation. So, who is he and what exactly happened? And this story is still developing, so there's a chance that this video will be out of date before I even get a chance to publish it, so uh, my apologies if that's the case. The young man's name is Daniel Halemba, and he was born in 2001 to Polish parents. Now, I've seen some websites claim that he was born in Germany, but the most reliable sources I've found say that he was born in Poland, and he and his family moved here when he was three years old. There's not much information about his family, which he apparently keeps very private but we do know that he went to school in Wertheim and is currently studying jurisprudence at the University of Würzburg. He joined the AFD, a populist right-wing party, at the age of 16 and very quickly rose through the ranks of its youth wing. He went on to become district chairman of the AFD in Würzburg and stood for election to the Bavarian State Assembly in the nearby constituency of Hasberger Rhön Grabfeld. Now, he actually came second in that constituency, but was able to win a seat through the party list system. On paper, his views don't seem that unusual for an AFD politician. He believes that uncontrolled migration is the cause of a lot of problems in society. Now, that may seem ironic coming from somebody who is himself an immigrant, but in my experience, it's surprisingly common for immigrants to be of the opinion that immigration was all very well back in their day, but now new immigrants are destroying the country that they chose to settle in. However, none of this is what actually got him into trouble with the authorities. That stems from his membership of a student organization known as Burschenschaft Teutonia Prag. And, uh, this is going to take a bit of explaining. At German universities, students might choose to join a student association broadly similar in concept to the idea of fraternities that you find in US colleges. where They have a social life together, they organize events and generally just support each other. In Germany, there are different types of these associations and one of them is the Burschenschaft. This type has a particularly long history going back to the 19th century and is very key to keep very old traditions alive. This includes, for example, the wearing of ribbons and student caps in the colors of the society, which are usually black, red, and gold. And that is because the original Burschenschaft, founded in 1815, used those colors and supported the idea of a united Germany. Those colors were also used by revolutionaries in 1848 who were trying to turn Germany into a republic, and they were adopted as German Germany's official flag with the abolition of the monarchy in 1918 until the rise of the Nazis it was restored as the official flag after the Second World War. One of the strangest traditions is that of Menzur, which is a kind of fencing duel that most Burschenschaften still practice to this day. And this, by the way, is the origin of the Hollywood stereotype of the Nazi officer with the scar on his face. Some of these societies were founded in places which at the time had large German-speaking communities or were even part of Germany itself, but were forced to relocate after the Second World War. The one that Halemba is a member of was originally founded in Prague, hence the name Teutonia Prague, but is currently based in Würzburg. One important aspect of these societies is that they tend to be quite right-wing, and the Burschenschaften are the most right-wing of all, so on the face of it, it's not a surprise to find that Halemba is a member of one of them. But Teutonia Prague manages to be so right-wing that the other Burschenschaften don't want to have anything to do with it. It was already quite extreme a few years back when the membership argued over whether or not to admit foreign students. Those who were against won the debate, and so it was apparently at this point that the more moderate members, relatively speaking, left, and this allowed the society to become even further radicalized. A few years ago, according to reports in the media, local residents called police to complain about the noise from the society's headquarters. Loud rock music with neo-Nazi lyrics, and constant chants of Sieg Heil. This apparently prompted an investigation into the society's activities, because in September, police conducted a raid on the building. 
Now, obviously, there are a couple of different versions of this story floating around. Supporters of the AFD, and of Halemba in particular, say that the raid was prompted by a photograph in which a wine bottle with a swastika on the label was visible. Police raided the house looking for the bottle, couldn't find it, but made arrests anyway. According to the official version, police took away a whole bunch of evidence, enough to launch an investigation into possible incitement to hatred and the display of the symbols of anti-constitutional organizations. One of the people under suspicion is Halemba himself, who has said that he believes the whole operation was launched in order to discredit him and his party. But if media reports are to be believed, police found all sorts of evidence in Halemba's room. This included more than just Nazi-themed material. Apparently, they also found several knuckle dusters, a machete, some cudgels, a flick knife, and a starting pistol. Also, police say they found in the Society's guest book Halemba's signature together with the phrase Zeke Heil. That was just before the election. Not long after the election, a warrant was issued for the arrest of Daniel Halemba. Now, normally a serving politician has some immunity from prosecution unless the assembly in question votes to suspend that immunity. But this was three days before the opening session, so Halemba did not yet have that immunity. At this point, Halemba disappeared, but was eventually arrested on the morning of the 30th of October, the day of the opening session of the Bavarian State Assembly, and not as you might be expecting in or even on his way to Munich, but in the town of Kirchheim unter Teck, which is near Stuttgart. Some accounts say that he voluntarily turned himself in, but others say that he was arrested after police were able to track his phone. Either way, he was unable to attend the opening session of the assembly and instead was taken to Würzburg. The public prosecutor wanted Halemba to remain in police custody because there were reports that he had already tried to intimidate a possible witness. So for that reason, Halemba had to be taken to a judge to decide the matter, but the judge disagreed with the prosecutor and ordered that he be allowed to go. Now, this is not an exoneration. Halemba is still under investigation and could still face charges. It's just that the judge didn't see any reason why he should be kept in custody. Meanwhile, the State Assembly, in its opening session, voted quite decisively to suspend Halemba's immunity, with most members voting for a suspension, except the AFD members who abstained. Daniel Halemba himself, currently a free man who is to be presumed innocent until proven guilty, has since started attending sessions at the Assembly. Meanwhile, the public prosecutor is appealing against the decision not to keep him in custody. If convicted, Halemba would lose his seat, but he would then simply be replaced by the next available person in the party list, and so the AFD will still have exactly the same number of seats that it won in the election. And that is currently the situation or at least it was when I wrote the script for this video. Now, I know that a lot of you are going to have very strong feelings about this one way or the other, so please keep your comments civil and respectful. That would be very much appreciated. The AFD in Würzburg and Candid... He went on to become the chairman of the Bavarian State Assembly in the nearby constituency of rönfeld Kapf. He actually came fourth in that constitu... <laughs> oh, <laughs> bloody hell.